The ruling class has always used the racial division and divide. Gender as well, and other things. But racial division and divide to fundamentally, strategically split the working class and therefore facilitate its oppression of all people. And in this case, when Obama ran in 2008 and picked up all his support and, and, and won the presidency, it was a mighty blow against racism. You may have criticism of some of his policies, which we certainly do, but in the grand, grand sweep of history, the great sweep of history, his election was a, a, an advancement of democracy and the fight for democracy uh, for all. And that is why we have never um, joined in the course of, of just abstractly, he's the same as Bush and all that stuff, because we have to look at this full picture. And when you get 93% of African Americans voting for him, 71% of Latinos, 73% of Asians, 69% of Jewish people, and uh, uh, the vast majority of young people, well over 60% of young people voted for him. And a million people, despite all, all the propaganda, all the lies, all the racism directed against him, a million people still came to that inaugural enthusiastic, full of tears, full of happiness, full of fighting spirit, because they defeated this racism. Because that second election, which the right thought for sure they were going to win, they kept saying, we're going to get a landslide, there's no way to win. They failed to achieve that despite all the money from the Koch brothers and every other Edelman, Edelson, and all these big financial uh, people, despite controlling a big chunk of the, of the airways, despite trying to suppress the vote, as I say, reaching into the cesspool of history and pulling out uh, voter suppression, Jim Crow style, and trying to implement that. But despite all that, they were defeated. Therefore, you have to look at that whole process from the point of view of uh, the sweep of history. And that, from that point of view, as a result, the defeated racism has, has strengthened the labor movement, made it more radical, made it more militant, made it more uh, consciously anti-racist. It has brought the labor movement into struggle against the... Uh, corporations in a stronger way. In Wisconsin, you guys know pretty well what the labor movement's been up against. And that's the right wing. And if you don't think they use racism in that thing, well, of course, you do know. But the thing is that um, we're at a period now where we must take the offensive. If we don't take the offensive, then we're going to be pushed back. And we got to keep the pressure on Obama to take the offensive. He's speaking very well now. Words are good. But how can we defeat them? 